You're just in a you're in a fucking place today, huh? <laughs> and I know it's Watley's not even he's just gripped in, he's fucking lit in, I'm sure. I'm gonna guess either two things are happening. Number one, uh someone said something to him before the show. Mm. Or two, there's a topic that he's hoping to leap at. Did you take care of the business you were supposed to before the show today? Yeah, I got that done right before the show. So we're all done. It's all fixed. Just about, yes. Just about is not the word I like. <laughs> um, I don't know what. All, all I'll say is this. Uh, Fez's mustache now looks like Jim, Sh- Jim uh, socks that there was something red in the laundry. And there's just a, I guess you tried to wash out all the colors. Well, it was washing out by itself. And last night on my way home, a transvestite on Christopher Street stopped to look at it, stopped me and said, could she look at it? And then grabbed it and about yanked it out of my face. <laughs> That's assault. You know, if any of us said that there was something wrong with transvestites, we would be accused. I know. Of I know. homophobia. I know. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm homophobic guy number one around here, I guess. Uh, remember earlier, and if I was you guys, I would have pulled these clips. Yeah. In the year, Fez was saying that Big Brother would never allow a gay to win Big Brother. And I told him I thought there was a guy this year that could probably win it. Uh-huh. He did. The gay guy. Fez's histronics were... Just that. So what did you do? Start and beat up this transvestite? No, I said, ow, let go of me, and then took off as fast as I could. That's a defense in its own way. (laughs) Just flight. I did my version of running. Do you feel like you wish you had a gun on you? No, no, I wish I hadn't walked down Christopher Street. Do you feel unsafe now? Yes, yes. Now, from now on, to get home, I will walk down 10th Street because that's where the police station is. Why don't you uh, call the cops, let them know when it's your time, and get somebody to walk you to your house. You like, wanted, I wouldn't mind if that was available. You wanted to move into the gay neighborhood. Yes. You have, and you find it terrifying. Yeah, because this is like... I, I have had transvestites scream at me or and now yank my mustache out of my face. Uh, this has happened like four times now, four or five times. Yes, none of us are surprised. <laughs> we tried to tell you that. Do not fight back against the transvestite. <laughs> They're used to putting their dukes up. They're really unpredictable. Well, she was I in don't a know. group. If you see it, is, uh, did any of the other transvestites say stop pulling? That old lady's mustache? Well, they they were telling her it's real. Mm. And I think she was trying to wait for it to come off, like to just peel off my face. Uh, Johnny, you're on the Run of Fez show. Good morning, fellas. Um, I think I remember a time when Obi had a brown bag lunch and then Fez had a brown bag lunch. Yes. And there was a time when uh, Jimmy had his glasses stolen off his face by a transvestite. Now Fez has an issue with one. Yeah, it's uh, what he's saying is I was listening to O&A. <laughs> That's basically what he was saying. My eye was mustache attacked last night. Well, uh, next week he's going to tell us that he went out shooting guns with uh, James Bond. Come on, Fez. You can't bring that shit in. <laughs> what kind of aha moment was she looking for? Like was She was looking for it? the fucking mustache to come off. Yeah. Like he was fucking, you know. Like I was wearing a big fake rainbow mustache. But it is. The, you, actually, now in hindsight, she's right. <laughs> there aren't fucking rainbow mustaches. Someone should have checked. So you're making her feel bad. Um... This would have been a great video to put up, but Fez's phone does not video. <laughs> what video on that thing? <laughs> so you don't feel safe now in the West Village? No, I We got to get you out of I fucking I beg be... you to go to Hell's Kitchen or Brooklyn. Brooklyn, actually, I think would be the fucking place for you. Park Slope? Ooh, you'd love it. It's safe. There's a little more room. It's extremely gay friendly. Oh my uh-huh. god! But not sexual. 
It's gays that just want to be friends with other gays and not have sex with them. Mm-hmm. The kind of gays you're looking for. Where's the gay part of Brooklyn? Is that Williamsburg? Yes, Williamsburg. <laughs> Billyburg, they call the gays call it Billyburg. Yeah, but almost all Brooklyn is fucking gay. Okay, Red Hook would be perfect for you. Oh yeah, they love him there. Yeah, he'd be right next to the IKEA. IKEA is what the fucking transvestites scream when they're fucking shaking his head back and forth. <laughs> Did you um, just to be uh, honest here? D- did you have your nose in her ass or anything like that? No, I was just walking by. Was your dick in or out? That's the big question. It was in my pants. Well, we can't trust him on that. In fact, I don't walk down Christopher Street with my dick out. Well, this could have been the perfect time for you to make a friend instead of fighting with people. Oh, trust me, I wasn't fighting. Yeah, that's nothing to be proud of. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to protect myself. <laughs> no, no, no. I let this happen. No, I would have been beaten to death if it was a fight. Um, Danny and Phoenix, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. From my experience, transvestites usually attack people who aren't gay because they think they're making fun of the gays. So, Fez, maybe you're not gay. You're not gay. Here's the other thing that I think probably happened. Uh, transvestite... Oh, is that real, baby? You know, touched his mustache, and he's turned that into an assault. Were they just having, instead of st- hanging out with them, having some fun? No, she wanted to check out my mustache and then grabbed it really hard. Oh, stop it! Why don't you That's do this? That's very sensitive hair to begin with. Why don't you fucking grab her fucking crotch and go? What are you fucking packing? You know, all of a sudden you're finding yourself making new friends. I didn't think of that. And then I was worried about causing trouble because there was three other transvestites there. Uh, Jay, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, guys. How you doing? Yeah. Hey, hey, Fez, I think you should move to New Jersey, somewhere like Jersey City or Hoboken, because it's not as crazy as Manhattan. It's probably a lot stress-free for you. It's no it's joke quiet. in Hoboken, Fez, and you're more of a Jersey guy. I've never felt like a Jersey guy. You look like a Jersey guy. You dress like one today. Uh, you know, you've got that fucking mustache like all those guys in Jersey, you know. It's a Jersey look. Yeah, you're a Jersey boy. <laughs> you you got to get out of the fucking West Village. Take it doesn't route. work for you. Yeah. You're not gay and you don't want to be around those people. <laughs> I'm gay, but and last night I did feel like running out of the West Village, yes. You should. Well, you it doesn't like- work for you. If you feel like running out of your neighborhood, then you should get the fuck out of your neighborhood. Take a little control there. You hate gays. Say it. No. Do you like the guys from LQ? I like them. They don't like me. Okay. I can't get be in a real fucking conversation with them. <sighs> Fez, you don't like gay people. It's obvious. Um, he definitely fears them. <laughs> And those gays that you went out to dinner with, they were mean to you. Yeah, they well, yeah, and tried to contact them again and just got totally blown off. Mm-hmm. Fez, you fear the entire gay lifestyle, right? I mean, that's what it seems like. Well, I fear the sex and I fear <laughs> getting killed. You sound like a straight guy. That's how straight guys <laughs> feel around gays. They're going to rape me in the shower, and they're going to kill me when I'm not looking. That's basically the... Here's the thing. It was Pinellas Park just, like, extremely safe, and that makes everything else look scary? Um, Yeah, I think it was pretty safe. I never thought of it that way in comparison. Maybe that's where you'd be at your happiest. How done are you with that other thing? Um, I would say a couple of weeks. At the earliest. But it's going to happen? That's that's the impression I got, yes. Uh, the impression is what I don't like. I can't get a definitive answer. Oh, God. Oh, whatever. I'll save it. I'll save my meltdown. <laughs> Why use it up? Well, I get what you mean that gay people were trouble and awful and dangerous to children. 
I didn't say dangerous to children. Yeah. Well, if they could grab an old man, what are they going to do to a little baby? What if you were a little kid and they grabbed you like that? What if it was an infant? This mm. wasn't all gay people. This was one transvestite in particular. Mm. But still, you don't see any straight dudes going up grabbing their dudes' mustaches. And you said people are always screaming at you down there, and they're always gays, right? They're not even the anti-gays. Right, yeah. The gays are just, Do any black people ever yell at you mean things? Um, that's who the transvestites are. Okay, that's fucking racist. <laughs> They've come up. I have a feeling that you're calling black women just transvestites. <laughs> <clears throat> These are actual men. How and do you women. know? Did you see any cocks? No. So how do you know to make that statement? Because you can tell. Oh, oh what geez, the come on, man. That's fucking racist. If I fucking and said that, <laughs> homo- yeah. I would be over. It'd be like, Chris is the biggest fucking homophobe on the you fucking planet. The bullshit am I not? I will say this. He's not as bad as you, Fez. Hell no. And I know for a fact those Alq guys are all fucking good dudes. Yeah, I've never had a problem. Why are you saying it like that? I've never had a problem. But what's the? <laughs> where are these fake? Ca- I don't know if you're doing <laughs> characters, but you're not being yourself anymore. It's very strange. Um. Well, Fez uh, has found some drama in his life once again. You should look for that transvestite and try to just settle this thing, Fez. Don't fucking be afraid of an entire street because one dude tried to rip off your mustache. I say just the opposite. Get out. He's had... It's been a failure for him down there. You've been down there for how many years? Two. Fuck. Only two years? I think... Yeah. I'm trying to think of how many times I've signed the lease. Two. (sighs) Seems longer to me. I thought it was three. Starting my third year oh, this God. month. Um, so you are afraid of your neighborhood officially, right? Yes. <laughs> After last night, yes, I am. Great. It's fine down there. There's nothing to be afraid of. There is if he's afraid. He's being attacked. Who knows? One day he could be raped and lose his virginity. <laughs> and he's, uh, he's saving that dusty old flower. That would be the best thing for you to pop that thing. If it's still poppable. You gotta fucking pop that coochie. <laughs> I I don't know if it's poppable once it's been mummified. Uh, no, and then it just cr- Maybe you can fucking stretch it out like some old taffy. It's probably like a leather fucking saddle. Oh, nasty. <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Mike, in the Bronx. Million bucks, Ronnie. Uh, why don't I ask Fezzi if the black transvestites were midgets, Phil, since he's throwing all the stereotypes around? No, nope, these were full-size transvestites. Oh, God, we don't even know. They may have just been black women. It was it was a woman. This person had a vagina. A woman attacked you, Fez. Ooh. You get attacked by a woman. That's all. Matt in Oklahoma, you're on the Ron Fez show. The story reminds me about the old cane pole gang in Florida when they took his bike and Fez he had to run off. Yeah, Fez has um, always had a very interesting defense of not fighting back. It's worked for him up to this point. I'm pretty sure that she didn't try to hurt him, though. She was just looking at his rainbow-colored... Moustache. So nice to see in the morning. The other people in the group were telling her to let go. Where was this group? Did they just group of transvestites just hanging out? Just on Street? the sidewalk by that theater there on Christopher Street. Yeah, like we all know it. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. right, right. The one the oh, yeah, the jerk off place. Yeah, I know it very oh, well. I love going yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my gym teacher took me there. It was really fucking sad. <laughs> Fez, maybe it'll all work out for you in Hoboken. Go across the river. Oh, I bet it won't pay off. I bet none of this will happen. I'm feeling Jersey could be it for Fez. Maybe Edgewater. Maybe once he and Stalker Patty get married like they promised. Maybe then it'll happen. Uh, Here's Aaron in Indiana. You're on the Fez show. 
Hey, Ron. Uh, I'd like to request a song. I'd like to hear the old uh, Fatty Pneumonia song. No, we haven't played that in a long time. That was uh, the kids used to tease Fez because he had pneumonia. Uh, and they came up with a really witty nickname, Fatty Pneumonia, for him. And then uh, uh, a friend of ours put together this too, a friend of ours, Paranoid. We haven't played it in a long time. Let's just uh, give it a listen. Fatty Pneumonia! Fatty Never left the house All the neighborhood kids used to scream and shout Hey, look at Fatty staring out the window again Fatty always had food, but he never had friends ah. <laughs> Mama never let him out, Mama never let him out Mama never let him out, Mama never let him out Mama never let him out, Mama never let him out Mama never let him out, Mama never let him out Mama never let him out, Mama never let him out Was that you singing back up on that fuss? No, it wasn't. I never made love to a cupcake. That part of the song is false. And the rest of it's 100% true? Well, it was tough being a sickly kid with a weight problem. Was the rest of it true? Did the kids call you fatty pneumonia? Yeah, yes. Hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering now how true that is. Dustin, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, what's going on, Ron? I Good. find this uh, hysterical that this tranny was probably just joking around with him and has already forgotten about this. And Fez is considering moving and rearranging his whole fucking life over. <laughs> Obviously. Are you saying that uh, Fez would... Uh, Blow something completely out of proportion. No. Now, did he tell you anything about this before the show, Hicks? I did not hear anything about. I didn't hear any training. Talk. I knew the way that he was locked in that he had some big story <laughs> he wanted to regurgitate. He seemed very nervous. Now that I think about it, in the morning, just like sitting now shaking in the computer next to me on the computer. But I figured, you know, just normal jitters. Never tell anymore. I'm gonna see if the police station has a fucking room. Maybe he can go in there. It's kind of like take back the night. Yeah, sleep next to the fucking coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> he still has the mustache, and on the way home today, could be grabbed again by someone of questionable gender. Are you why questionable gender? Well, it was a tranny yesterday. Oh, okay. So that's questionable. Who knows what it was? Man, woman. See what you've done, Fez. Yeah. You've spread. Uh, intolerance. That's his own prejudice. You've spread the intolerance. You never tell a positive transvestite story ever. They're only negative. And you can tell. You can just tell they're a transvestite. Come on, man. If I can't get away with that. And you, you would not be able to get away with it. No. Um, here's Alan. You're on the run of Fez show. Fez, would you please stop referring to it as he or she if it has a dick? It's a dude, or an it. It's not a she. I'm trying to be respectful. Transvestites respectful. prefer she. How Even do you know? I was disrespected. How, how do you know? Do they all walk lockstep like the Nazis? It's always been my uh, experience. Anytime I've met one, that it's a that she how many is have the you preferred. Met? I've probably met five over my lifetime. So if. Um, if you met five black people and they all said to you, call me colored, would that then be okay? No. Don't you think there's at least five black people in the world who are okay with being called colored? 
I don't know if there's that many. Really? Maybe they just don't mind it. I don't know if they prefer it. The point being, you're now saying all, all of them want this because they have a small number of people that you met. That's my only point to you. That if you were somehow involved in the community, let's say if you lived in the West Village for the last several years. Mm. And by the way, these five that you met, do you know them or they're just, you've seen them on the street? Just run into them like in bars and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not personal friends. I wonder how many old ladies say to him, just call me she. And... (laughs) He's like, yes, I understand. It's that Adam's apple. It's tough to believe any, and I'm not saying this against him, but he's such a fucking liar. Yeah. It's tough to ever know what he's saying is true. And um, also a misperception uh, of reality also. That's that's the that's the that's probably the worst part yeah. of like not realizing what just happened. Right. <laughs> and having like his own like idea of like this is how this should go and that's how it went but that's maybe in reality not how it actually happened literally after the Skippy situation I don't believe anything that he says that was weird thank god for Paul O we would have never fucking found he would have never told us about that cat we'd still think the cat's fucking absolutely right. 100% <laughs> we'd be like what was Skippy doing when you got home oh she was running around. Guys, puzzle. She was making a puzzle. Uh, yeah, she's just like that cat in the YouTube that you guys were talking about. <laughs> well, bring her in again to see if she could talk. Um, here's our buddy, Cigars and Scotch. Hey, says I think you should look at this thing as a positive. Like, you've had a unique experience. I don't think there's another person in the world that ever had a black transvestite grab their rainbow mustache. It is it is odd. It's very fucking odd. Very cool. Um, I mean, I could get a hold of the Guinness book, people. See if they'll give us a chapter. Don't think other people would just take that crazy experience, turn it into maybe something comedic. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just going with cigars no, and scotch. Sandy. I'm going to say this, because Fez is out of the room right now checking on Gina Gershon. Do you got balls enough to say that to fucking Fez? That same statement. Yeah, sure. Do you really? I mean, if you lack the balls, just fucking tell me. Because I would love to see what he had to say that. Because it's a legitimate fucking thing. Everyone else would come in with some kind of crazy story about it. And Fez is one of, I'm now going to only go home down 10th Avenue. Be great. There's more cops and white straight people. Uh, James, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ronnie, yeah. is it possible that Fez is on bath salts? He smells too rancid to be on bath salts. This changes everything. Oh, We're going to be back in business. Nice. Now I got doubles. So if anyone starts any shit, I'll really fucking throw down. If a transvestite comes over and tries anything. I do agree that you shouldn't be fighting transvestites. I've seen transvestites fuck some people up before. They They will fucking beat your ass. Because they fight about as much as a fucking Mexican lightweight. You know what I mean? They're just out there on the circuit. They got a scrap. That's why this fucking transvestite here was like... And how's he walking close enough? You know I, I mean, know, you know, it's either he's trolling them <laughs> or, you know, he smelled fucking pork. Something drew him in. I don't know how he finds himself in these situations. How many times has he tried to tell us that homeless people have oh chased my God. him? Oh, yeah. He says that they chase him down the street. The new shrink. I remember like one of the first times he went to the new shrink. He's like a homeless guy. Chase me down. I thought I was going to. Did he call you once? Because all yeah. this guy. <laughs> well, one time he called me because there was a fight in the street. And then he says, I don't know what to do. And I go, well, walk around it. But they're right in front of me. I go, this city is built on a grid. You can <laughs> fucking go east to west, north to south. You don't have. To. And what it was, two guys spilled out of a bar swinging at each other. And for some reason, he thought that had something to do with him. 
You know what I mean? They didn't know him from Adam. These are two guys who had a fucking problem with each other. <laughs> it's like if he was at a fucking Flyers game and he had on binoculars <laughs> and he looked on the other side of the stadium and saw a fight, oh, he no. would fucking scream, don't hurt me, and run out of there. <laughs> I was almost beat to death. I don't know. He sees Syria on fucking TV and starts to fucking put plastic on his windows because he thinks he's going to be fucking sarin gas. Ron, I invested in a gas mask. <laughs> he's just got to go with the flow. But I doubt that he ever will be able to. What are you going to do? Uh, here's uh, Mike in Connecticut. You're on the Run Fest show. Ronnie B, million bucks. You too, buddy. Um, so for Narc Zito's event on October 19th, uh, Bailey J might be showing up. Maybe, you know, best of both worlds for, for, for Fezzi. It would be fantastic to get the two of them together and have uh, there be some bridge to that community for Fez. But he, first of all, you know, obviously he spends a lot of money for an apartment to live in that fucking neighborhood. It's a neighborhood that a lot of people, you know, like to live in because there's restaurants and nightclubs and um, he stays inside of it all the time. He's in that apartment all the time. That, that, that's not fucking healthy. And there's so much stuff to do. In New York. There was a thing last night my buddy Mitch was at. 4,000 people show up in Bryant Park with only 30 minutes notice. All dressed in white. Oh, shit. To have this fucking gigantic dinner. That's fucking sick. That's the kind of shit that you gotta look for. That's really cool. But he doesn't sign up for anything. He doesn't check out anything. He went out... You know, Michael took him out to one dinner... The other guys around there never, you know, said, guess what? I want to be your best friend for life. Yeah. And then, here's the thing. Why would he think that he meets someone? Does he think that has to be suddenly this close friendship? I had to do Unmasked or the interview shows, but I don't fucking toss and turn and be like, uh, why hasn't Michael Ian Black invited me to his house? You know what I mean? I don't, you know. <laughs> He would find a way of being depressed about whatever because it doesn't go on every minute of the day. He has some weird attachment problems. Why didn't Bob Newhart fucking call me up and <laughs> invite me on vacation with him? I don't know what he wants out of things, really. Maybe if... I don't think he likes going out and actually making friends. like or making like. But that's great. That's why you use the city... To have little, short, friendly excursions, and then you move on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you meet people, you talk to them, and then that's it. You don't have to treat it like they're a member of your family and there's obligations, and you should spill your guts to them. Maybe Fez sees it as black and white. Either you're a fucking friend for that's life. That's racist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's so, also homophobic. Well, yeah, but you're a black and white thing. Either you're a friend from life or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then he ma manages to turn the world into a black, dark fucking place. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Of people who didn't do this or that. People who fucked him people over. People who let him down and destroyed him. Maybe you should work on that with his Frank. <sighs> he can't be fixed, dude. Stop it. And when you said the thing of the tranny forgot about it seconds later, you know it's true. You know he wasn't assaulted. Somebody just wanted to see his mustache. Which the whole reason that you would have a, re a rainbow-colored mustache would be to draw attention to yourself. <laughs> or else you would try to downplay everything. Why do people keep talking about this mustache of mine? <laughs> What's wrong with them? So it's fucking gigantically large and rainbow colored. So what? Leave it alone. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> Not something to oogle at. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like a girl with fucking big tits wearing a fucking tank top. And I'm like, what's with these dudes? It's like all these guys are staring at me. <laughs> Is that one of the, your yeah. new character? Yeah, it's like I have big tits. Slut. <laughs> your new character can be called girl guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a trend. Girl guy. <laughs>